Hello, this is a short video about how to avoid plagiarism in your work. And so as you know, plagiarism is taking uh, someone else's words and passing them off as your own. That could be you writing an essay and going into the internet or a book and copying that uh, information into your paper without citing the source. That is you stealing someone else's words without giving them credit for that work. And one way to avoid that is to cite your sources. We have lots of videos available and resources through your teachers and in your courses about how to cite your sources. So if you have info or questions around that, please refer to those resources. Um, so that is one way to avoid plagiarism. Also, anytime you go into the lessons and you're copying and pasting information from the lesson into an assignment, that also is a form of plagiarism because you are taking the lesson information and just pasting it into the assignment. You're not actually processing the information. You're not summarizing the information in your word, in your own words, uh, which is uh, not helpful for you in the learning process because you will not remember or retain or process the information that you are learning if you yourself are not writing a summary of that information. So remember that is a requirement. Anytime you complete a lesson or an assignment within Peak or Brightspace, everything has to be your own words unless you are specifically citing that source. So let's say you are a person that has trouble either remembering to cite your source or knowing how to cite your source. And so this video is going to show you one tool to help you check to see if your work is all your own words or if it isn't your own words and you are citing some sources because it's a research paper or an essay, uh, it will help you identify to make sure that you haven't forgotten to cite sources. So. Here's how you do this, and it's a bit tricky, so follow along uh, closely, if you will. Uh, right now, we're using Tommy Test Student as an example. We're on his home screen, and we're going to come up here to Tools. Tommy has already submitted two assignments. The first assignment he submitted was 100% plagiarized. I sent him a message and said, sorry, Tommy, you have to redo this, and so... Tommy could have avoided having to redo the assignment had he first checked to make sure the original assignment he submitted was all his own words. And the way that he could have done that is this. He needs to first submit the assignment to Peak. And this is where it's a little confusing because you can't check your work before you submit your assignment, um, but we'll get to how to work around that here at the end of the video. So he submits the assignment to Peak. He waits a few minutes for the originality report to generate, so it will take just a few minutes, so you know, go get a drink of water, come back, and then come over here to where it says submissions and click on the number of submissions. Again, Tommy has submitted this twice. The first submission, as you can see, is uh, in the Turnitin Similarity Report, is 100% plagiarized. So had he submitted this assignment and then realized that, oh shoot, um, that whole thing is plagiarized, what he needed to do at that point in time would be this. Would He'd need to uh, email his teacher and say, hey, I forgot to cite my sources. Please don't grade this paper. I'm going to cite them now, and then I will resubmit tomorrow. So then Tommy resubmits his paper, as we have seen here, and it is only 6% similar to another work. And I will say this, is anytime you are taking direct quotations from somewhere on the internet, or even if you're copying and pasting from lessons within Peak, this is going to register as um, showing that it is similar to someone else's work. Again, the way you avoid this is to make sure that you have cited your source. So I'm gonna show you real fast what it looks like and how you can tell where in your paper uh, is similar to someone else's work. And so what you're gonna do is under the Turnitin Similarity Report, you're going to click on the, the percentage bar there and your paper is going to come up 
and so certain parts of your paper are going to be highlighted and this is where you need to use your brain and critically think about things sometimes things will be highlighted because that word is often seen on the internet for example his name and the University of Manitoba often found on the internet I know that I did not plagiarize that and so I'm gonna pass over that but now I come to another highlighted section and this one looks to be a direct quote and so I know that because there's quotation marks around the quote I also see that I did cite it so according to the biography um, by Huffington Post so I know that it it was cited so I'm not going to worry about being um, charged with plagiarism here because I cited my source but let's say I looked at this and I realized oh shoot I don't have a citation here um, one thing that you can do is come over here to the navigation bar on the right and we're going to click on the middle bar graph looking thing and the first thing that comes up, the first source that shows um, where this came from is Huffington Post. So this could be a reminder like, oh yeah, I, that's right, I got this information from the Huffington Post. And so that means I'm going to have to go back and get the information from that website so I can then cite it in my paper. Uh, there are a few other locations as well throughout the paper that are showing to be similar to something else. It does look like I cited them here, which is great. Um, and again, uh, this one was also in my own words. I was paraphrasing what I had read off of the internet, but it is still showing that this is similar in content to something else and so thankfully I cited my source even though it wasn't a direct quotation I was summarizing the information that I found off the internet um, so that is one way for you to go into your paper and check to see what uh, you need to yet cite in order to avoid any charges of plagiarism also, uh, this is the 100% uh, plagiarized paper, and again, you'd go to the Turnitin Similarity Report, click on the percentage bar, and up will come the whole thing is plagiarized because it is from Wikipedia. <laughs> so that'll show up. Um, yeah, this is just one, one tool for you to help yourself avoid any charges of plagiarism and to make sure that you are doing your own work and giving yourself the opportunity to learn and grow uh, as you continue to work through the course. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.